In this video, we are going to talk about the geometric mean of positive numbers. Now, whenever you hear the word mean, always think about the middle value. And the word geometric, well, this means that we have something to do with geometric progressions. Now, we have two ways. The first one is to only talk about geometric mean and get done with it. But there is a much better way to do this. We will not just look at the geometric mean or GM, we will also look at its cousin, the arithmetic mean, which is AM. Both of them are very closely connected and it's always useful to take care of them together. So let's do that. Let's start with an AP. We have a few numbers, 2, 5, 8, 11 and so on. There in AP, you can see that the common difference is 3. If you add 3 to 2, you get 5 and then you get 8 and then you get 11 and so on. So let's put down that common difference as well. So to talk about the arithmetic mean or the middle value, let's take two of these. Let's take 2 and 8 and find their middle value. Well, clearly their middle value is 5. That becomes the arithmetic mean of 2 and 8. Using the same logic, we will figure out the geometric mean of a GP. Let's do that. Let's write down a GP. We have 2 and then 4 and then 8, 16 and so on. Here we are multiplying terms by 2. So the common ratio here becomes 2. So 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 and so on. So taking the same example, let's pick 2 and 8. What's their middle value? In this GP world, their middle value becomes 4. This comes in between 2 and 8. So this is our middle value. This is our geometric mean. And I know what you're thinking. It is very easy to pick the middle value when you have the entire progression listed. But what if the values get lost? What if you're only given two values and you have to figure out the middle value for both AP and GP? If they get lost, how do we find them? Do you want to give this a shot? Pause the video, think about it. What approach would you follow? Sure, we don't know this value, but at least we know that these three terms together form an AP. And because these terms form an AP, we can bring in our common difference. We can say that 2 plus D, some common difference, gives us the middle value. And then the same common difference when added gives us 8. This will help us build equations. So let's do that. We have 8 that's equal to this middle value plus D. And this middle value is equal to this 2 plus the same common difference D. Now we're not interested in the common difference. We want the middle value. So let's subtract these equations. What we get is 8 minus the middle value gives us the middle value minus 2. A little rearranging will give us 2 times the middle value equals to 8 plus 2. And if you solve this, 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 by 2 is 5. So we get the middle value is 5. So we have figured that out. Now that's for arithmetic mean. How do we do this for geometric mean? Do you want to try it out? Okay. So in AP, things get added. In GP, things get multiplied. So we can use the same logic. But here we'll have to use the common ratio. So 2 times some fixed number, let's call it common ratio R, will give us the middle value. And the same number when multiplied will give us 8. Now let's use this to form equations. We get 8, that's equal to the middle value times R. And this middle value is equal to 2 times R. Again, we don't need R, so let's divide. This will give us 8 by question mark. That's equal to the question mark by 2. And if you cross multiply, you get the middle value squared equals to 8 times 2, that's 16, which means the middle value is the square root of 16, which is 4. Now, you can also say that the middle value could be minus 4, but we're talking about positive numbers, and minus 4 does not sit in the middle of 2 and 8. So we'll take the positive one, the middle value is 4, and this is how we can figure out both AM and GM of two numbers, any two numbers. Now let's generalize this. There was nothing special about the numbers 2 and 8. It could have been any two numbers A and B. Let's do that. If we have 2 times the middle value, let's call it AM, that is equal to B plus 8. We can replace 8 and 2 with B and A and we get the formula. The AM is equal to B plus A by 2 as the average of these two numbers. This is our arithmetic mean. And we can do the same thing for the GM. There was nothing special about 2 and 8. So B upon GM is equal to GM upon A. Cross multiplying, we get the GM square equals to AB. And because we're going to take the positive value, we can say that the, the GM is equal to the square root of AB, the positive square root of AB. 
So we can replace that. AM is this and GM is this. These formulae definitely come handy. But now you also know where they're coming from. All right, let's quickly practice. We need to find the geometric mean of these two numbers, 8 by 3 and 3 by 2. Pause the video, try this out. Okay, so we can use the formula, the GM of any two positive numbers that's equal to the square root of their product. So let's multiply them and take the square root. This is what we get, 8 by 3 times 3 by 2. 3 cancels out, 8 by 2 is 4. So square root of 4 is 2. We don't need to worry about the positive values. The square root always gives the positive value. That's our answer. Pretty neat. We've figured out the GM. But before we celebrate, let me give you one more problem. For what values of P, some number P, these numbers 8 by 3, P and 3 by 2 are in GP. Now this might look very similar, but pause the video and think about it. Do you have the answer or is there more to it? So in the first case, we were talking about the geometric mean between these two numbers. And the answer was 2. This means 8 by 3, 2 and 3 by 2 will form a GP. And that's what the question is asking. For what values of P, the numbers 8 by 3, P and 3 by 2 are in GP. So 2 has to be the answer. You're right, but you're also wrong. 2 is not the only answer. There's one more answer. There are actually two values of P that we can put so that these three numbers form a GP. How can that be? Let's figure it out together. We have 8 by 3 and if you multiply it by 3 by some number, we get to P and if you multiply P by the same number, we get to 3 by 2. We're calling that number R, some common ratio. Notice that we're saying that these three terms are in GP. We're not saying that P has to be in the middle of 8 by 3 and 3 by 2. P could be outside these two and still form a GP. Let's take a closer look. So in this case, R becomes P by 8 by 3. That's the ratio of P and 8 by 3. It's also equal to 3 by 2 by P. And we can solve this to get P. So P square becomes 8 by 3 times 3 by 2. P square becomes 4. And this is where the fun is. Pay very close attention to both these equations. The first one says, give me the square root of 4. And the answer to that is 2. But the second one says, find a number that when squared gives us 4. And here we have two values. We can either plug in 2 or we can plug in minus 2. So P could be 2 or minus 2. And this is our second answer. Sure, 2 is our geometric mean and minus 2 is not. But both of them can be used to form a GP. If you don't believe me, here are the two GPs. Here's the first one. Here the common ratio comes out to be 3 by 4. If you plug in 2, you get R as 3 by 4. And if you multiply 8 by 3 by 3 by 4, you get 2. And if you do the same thing again, you get 3 by 2. Pretty neat. But you also get another GP when you have the common ratio is minus 3 by 4. So 8 by 3 times minus 3 by 4, 3 cancels out, 8 by 4 is 2, and a minus sign gives us minus 2. And you do the same thing again. 2 by 4 is 1 by 2, and then 3 on the numerator minus minus cancels out and then you get back to 3 by 2. So here are two different ways to jump from 8 by 3 to 3 by 2 while ensuring that you form a GP. So what we have learned is there are two ways to plug in a number between two numbers so that we get a GP but only one of them can be called the geometric mean of these two numbers. If I have to put this in different words I would say that the geometric mean of two positive numbers is always between them. Alright.